At CRP Industrial, we supply a wide range of industrial hose and accessories. There are so many options that we know it can be confusing. In this episode of CRP Industrial's go-to video series, we'll help you decode some of that jargon. Hi, I'm Sean Malone, Application Engineer at CRP Industrial. Today, we're gonna to take a look at our thermoplastic hoses. We'll discuss the materials that make up the inner tube and the outer cover. Let's start with the tube. This is the part of the hose that comes in direct contact with the material flowing through the hose. They feature good chemical resistance and low friction to improve flow characteristics and reduce wear. The tubes can be lumped into three families, polyamides, polyesters, and fluoropolymers. Nylon is possibly the best known subgroup in the polyamide family. It features good abrasion resistance, flow characteristics, and chemical resistance. If the standard nylon, nylon 6, is not sufficient, there are higher grade versions, nylon 11 and nylon 12, which can be used. These varieties offer further improved chemical resistance and reduced moisture absorption, which is critical for moisture sensitive materials. The second family, polyesters, have many similarities to nylon. Polyester often comes in at a lower price for the performance. It's most commonly used in non-conductive hoses since it performs better than nylon 6 for that application. Polyesters have different chemical structures than nylons. For some situations where nylon has chemical compatibility issues, polyester can perform well. In many cases, neither will work. That brings us to the third family, fluoropolymers. Fluoropolymers are truly the elite materials for dealing with chemicals. They're even superior to 316 stainless steel. They have multiple structures, PTFE, PFA, FEP, MFA. Now let's jump over to hose exteriors. While the hose exteriors or covers are also thermoplastic, they're designed for a different set of challenges. So the hose covers try to optimize abrasion resistance, environmental resistance, and UV stability. That is resistance to ultraviolet light. Let's look at the following hose covers, polyurethane, hydrol, and stainless steel. The first and most common cover is polyurethane. It features excellent rebound and good abrasion resistance. A high level of UV resistance protects the hose and does a good job keeping the pigment from fading. There's also a closed cell variant available for underwater applications. But polyurethane performs somewhat poorly with external solvents and chemicals. In those cases, Hytrol is a better option. It features similar properties but has enhanced chemical resistance. The final type of cover is more of an exposed reinforcement layer. The most common is stainless steel braiding. Two conditions where you would really want this are in extreme temperatures and situations where aggressive chemicals may permeate through the hose. So that's a brief review of the most popular tube and cover options for our thermoplastic hose line. Should you ever have a question, don't hesitate to give us a call. And of course, please visit crpindustrial.com to view all of our products. We'll see you next time on GoToVideo from CRP Industrial, your go-to source for specialty hoses.